India, racing ahead, changing with the changing times and embracing new technology. This positive change has touched the ATM world as well. The first ATM in India was introduced in 1987, ushering in a breakthrough in banking services. It was for the first time that banking customers in India experienced the convenience of withdrawing cash automatically. Since then, ATMs have become an indispensable part of India's modern banking ecosystem as a one-point banking solutions provider. From a mere 52,000 ATMs with 37 member banks in 2009, ATM growth has almost tripled, crossing the 140,000 mark with over 240 member banks. Processing 8 to 10 million ATM transactions and cash withdrawals in excess of 2,000 crore rupees every day. Powering this new age revolution is National Payments Corporation of India through its National Financial Switch, NFS. To execute this seamlessly and transparently, every decision taken is compulsorily validated by the members of a duly constituted committee comprising elected experts from banking, technology, administration and so on. National Payments Corporation of India has come a long way since its inception four years ago. In the process, uh, it has encompassed almost all facets of uh, payment system in this country, making its products and uh, services available to people in such a way the payment system is now accessible, affordable and feasible. Today, the ATM has evolved to become a multilateral shared ATM network, allowing customers of one bank to use another bank's ATM. ATMs have advanced steadily to become a full-service facility, providing banking functions like money transfers, direct payments, account balance checking, mini statement generation, pin change and new innovative transactions. NFS was initiated by IDRBT under the aegis of RBI in 2004. The manner and the speed with which NPCI has scaled up its NFS operations to nearly 3 billion a year is quite commendable. IDRBT wishes NPCI all the best in their new journey. Through NFS's primary site located in Mumbai and disaster recovery site strategically located in a different seismic zone, it provides uninterrupted 24-7 availability to almost every ATM across the country. This allows for robust networking, data security and backup of critical data using state-of-the-art facilities while consistently ensuring near zero downtime and zero data loss and also helping in faster grievance redressal. NFS supports member banks to provide instant alerts to customers on suspicious ATM transactions through its real-time fraud monitoring solution. Emphasis on continuous R&D helps upgrade NFS's offerings and discovers newer ways to enhance cost efficiency of ATMs. In fact, the Zero Charge Back project initiated lately will soon place additional checks and measures to help acquiring banks to achieve nil complaint status on their ATMs. Now, non-banking entities are also able to own, deploy and manage ATMs called White Label ATMs using NFS's large domestic network. Complementing NFS's aim to continue extending ATM access even to the remotest corners of India across challenging terrains and conditions, delighting rural and urban bank customers alike, be it night or day. The NPCI would be completing four years of its very meaningful existence in the payment and settlement system of the country in January 2014. I must say it had been a journey full of excitement as well as achievements. The expectation and demand from NPCI is ever increasing but it also shows that they have been able to meet this demand 
with confidence and with a good outcome. For banks, NFS enabled ATMs mean reducing rush at branches and delivering better efficiency at lower cost. Empowering the economically backward with modern banking facilities. NPCI has been able to create the railroad for payments across the country. What's been really creditable is that this has been built on scarce resources. The system has been able to manage risks very well and additionally has been able to be a partner for the growth of the whole payment system across the industry. With NFS, comprehensive MIS reports generated ensure total transparency. Besides helping banks reduce cost per transaction and increase ROIs on ATMs. NPCA has taken off an ambitious project of touching every Indian by 2020 with various electronic payment products. By 2020, I believe every household and earning citizen in the country would have a card or an electronic wallet in the pocket and all those payment transactions would be routed through National Financial Switch. As a result, National Financial Switch would be processing about 100 million transactions a day and the switch emerging as one of the top three switches in the world. I salute RBI for founding NPCI and it was my privilege to have served as a chairman of this institution for several years. I uh, congratulate NPCI on the various innovations they have brought to the benefit of the people and the role they have played in the financial inclusion uh, agenda. I should give the credit to the member banks, the promoters and of course the NPCI team which has uh, built NFS to what it is today. As the nation races ahead, NFS from NPCI continues to scale up and be a reason for immense national pride and accomplishment, while also being an inspiration through example for other nations when it comes to answering the growing banking needs of their citizens at the swipe of a card. NPCI's NFS, powering tomorrow's ATM.